It's really a pleasure to be here. Um, very little bit about me. Um, this demo is really about food as medicine, my passion and what I have spent the largest part of my career doing. Um, I only have a couple of slides because this is really about the demo. One of the things that I, this is a little bit about what I do and the nexus of my work has really come together in nutritional lifestyle psychiatry and really we have discovered that in the last five to six years, metabolism is a huge part of that triad as well. Um, so very quickly, this is some of the uh, work I do in the courses. Um, I'll leave it on this, on my first slide. So one of the concepts I love to talk about is something that is super simple for brain health. It, and it goes something uh, like this, um, stack and snack. And what I mean by that is very simply uh, a buzzword that I teach all of my patients as many times that you eat, that you can add in brain foods to your day and cut out the traditional and standard American diet, which is called sad for a reason, it's usually better for our brain. And we, that goes without saying. So today you are going to be tasting um, my chocolate cherry smoothie, and I'm going to tell you why I put what I did into it. Firstly, lots of colors, but two really important ingredients, um, and let me break it down for you. So cacao, different from cocoa, cacao is prepared differently, it's fermented, it's done at a lower temperature, which therefore preserves the antioxidant effects. Um, so when you are looking for these ingredients, look for cacao, not cocoa, which is a powder a lot of people use in baking, and it has less of a beneficial effect. Uh, so cacao contains uh, epicatechin, kind of a tough word to pronounce, but essentially this is a high level antioxidant and flavonol that helps your brain health. The brain and gut are connected. If you've heard anything about me, I talk about that all the time. I'm not going to bore you that today. But essentially, I like to say that the gut-brain connection explains and unfolds that mood-food connection. So today, the reason I paired cacao with cherries in this smoothie and lots of other ingredients, anyone, anyone who likes the recipe or enjoys it, ask us and we'll get that to you, is because it turns out that cacao, in addition to being fermented, and we know fermented foods are good for our gut, um, cacao also contains the largest source of non-heme iron. The World Health Organization has told us that 30% of women and children worldwide are iron deficient, and low iron causes extreme anxiety. Just a fun fact to know. But the reason we paired it with cherries, and sorry I didn't add blueberries to this recipe, <laughs> but I do talk about them all the time. Uh, cherries also contain vitamin C in addition to being really delicious. The vitamin C helps the absorption of the non-heme iron. So anytime that you're eating extra dark chocolate, I say have it with a mandarin or piece of fruit, 85% uh, or darker, and just try to get your palate used to it, but that piece of citrus will help the absorption. So today, I hope you'll enjoy this, and I hope you'll ask me lots of questions about it, and uh, I'm gonna blend it up, and we're all gonna taste it. By the way, you'll see at the top of this a lot of leafy greens. Leafy greens contain uh, folate, and low fo folate is associated with a low mood. So it's a, just an easy way into your smoothie for your kids, your family, to get in more servings of greens, and really easy to do. One last fun fact, I'll share with you is that I only put a small component of fruit or berries, my favorite fruit, into this smoothie. And that is because if you think about eating a quarter cup of berries, blueberries or cherries, versus blending them, they impact your blood sugar in a very different way. When you're chewing them, the fiber, the nutrients are all there, but you take a much longer time. But when they're blended in a smoothie, which is why I discourage an excessive use of fruit in smoothies, they hit your bloodstream immediately and they, they have a very different impact, especially if you use a CGM, you would have seen that. So let's enjoy together, thank you. Um, I am excited to be building educational resources at Mass General and um, really hope that you will ask me more questions about that because I think that only tw we know that only 20% of doctors uh, learn nutrition at medical school and therefore helping providers of all kinds, not just doctors, to learn how to use uh, nutritional lifestyle methods with the metabolism factors uh, as well is super important. Thank you all. <laughs> 